So let's go over the triceps brachii. We're going to look at the soft tissue. We're going to take into consideration some traditional Chinese medicine, so acupuncture points. Areas of fascial thickenings. Fascial thickenings, we have 10 times the amount of neurological receptors. And especially in the periphery, these are it's a correlation between the acupuncture points, the fascial thickenings, and about 90% of the points. And then we're going to consider a little bit of osseous manipulation. So let's just talk first a little bit about the origin insertion. The long head originates at the infraglenotubercle of the scapula, crossing the shoulder and the elbow joints. The lateral head arises from the posterior humerus above the radial groove. The medial head originates from the posterior humus, humerus below the radial groove. And in terms of insertion, all heads converge into a single tendon, inserting onto the electron process of the ulna. Okay, bring your arm up here, Mickey. I'm gonna get you to actually just bring this down like this, okay? okay go ahead, bring it down. No. How are we doing? You're really gonna feel that one. Yeah. Okay, so we'll kind of work our way around here a bit. And depending on where I found the restriction. You okay? Oh yeah. So we work all the way down, the muscles, three different areas here. And as we're working down, also taking into consideration the innervation of the triceps brachii, which is the radial nerve. Good. So in terms of the function, the triceps brachii is essential for elbow extension. Yeah, I'm good. Any kind of entrapment in terms of the radial nerve could affect the proprioceptive feedback. You okay? Oh yeah. Good. And right down. Okay, I'll just take this here, take it up, I'm going to take this up, feeling that quite a bit, yeah. so I just changed my vector, went in the other direction, okay, I'll take this again, so let's just bring a little di different dynamic into this, bring it part way, I'm going to take it around, oh. feeling that a lot, aren't oh you? Oh my goodness, yeah. So if I find an area where I feel a bit of a restriction in here, I get in there, bring it into tension, and do a bit of circumduction on that. That really changes everything. Good. So we work our way through the entire triceps brachii, considering the long head, lateral head, and medial head. So in terms of acupuncture points, there's a number of points we could use around the shoulder here, but I'll just demonstrate a few. So in terms of a common one would be small intestine 10, moving along the scapular spine, just going above the fold here, above to the end, right in here and this will significantly increase shoulder mobility but because of the fascial expansions in here it'll have quite effect in terms of the tricep you okay there Mickey? Mm -hmm. good so take it and really move it around get in there now we have individual videos on each of the acupuncture points and like I said uh, normally we do a whole bunch of points in an area to basically open it up for the, the whole shoulder and the arm, such as governor vessel 20, governor vessel 16, small intestine 15, triple energizer 17, this is small intestine 10, and even in the hand, large intestine 4. But we actually have videos that focus on the fascial expansions if you'd like to learn more. So there's a few acupuncture points we could actually stimulate around the elbow itself. One would be large intestine 11. It's located at the outer end of the elbow crease, midway between the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and the end of the elbow crease. So let's just go over here a little bit. Feel that right there? Yes. Quite a bit right there. Okay, so if we're working around this area, this is gonna have an effect on the nervous system. It's going to increase blood flow in the area, and it's gonna help to increase mobility around the entire elbow. And as we mentioned, how the triceps connect down, we want to influence the entire area. We could actually move up there just a little bit more, about one thumb width, which would be large intestine 12. Doing okay there? That's a little tight too, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And actually, we stimulate these for about uh, 30 seconds to three minutes. But if I was to actually turn this over a bit, go on the back of the elbow here, up a little bit from there, and we'd get into the, basically the influence of triple heater 10. It's located on the posterior of the elbow of the upper arm in the depression about one tune above the olecranon. 
when the elbow is flexed. Okay, good. So right, yeah, more in there. You okay? Yeah. And again, we're talking about 30 seconds to three minutes. And we do have videos on each of these particular acupuncture points. So if you'd like to go to our TCM playlist on our YouTube channel, you will be able to find that. Doing okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So when it comes to osseous manipulation and we're dealing with the triceps, we should both consider the peripheral joints, but also spinal manipulation. And people say, okay, why would you even consider mobilizing some of the areas up in the facet joints of the neck? We also have to consider how the nervous system is in terms of the cervical plexus, brachial plexus. We're talking about radial nerve here, but we have to consider the different pathways and how it could be affected. So let's just start out more by the elbow here. You doing okay? Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of mobilization around here. Working my way around. Good. Feeling that one a bit. Big <laughs> time. <laughs> but then we're also dealing with the common flexor tendon, working our way up. Good. And I'm gonna just kinda, I'd be on there until I you know, felt that release. Getting up more of the shoulder kind of the edge here a little bit. Good. And especially when people are dealing with chronic pain, it's really important to consider the spinal region because that's where you can actually connect in and help to break the cycle of central sensitization. It's a process basically where your nervous system gets wound up and we can settle it down by tapping into stimulating more in terms of parasympathetic nervous system activity. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, slide over a little bit. So I'd be checking the thoracic area, okay here? Mm -hmm. And seeing whether we have anything here. And a little bit there. Not much. And then I would take a look at the cervical spine. And like I said, it may not even seem like it's related to the tricep, but we're not just dealing with a joint restriction, which manipulation is great for, but we're also considering its influence on the nervous system. So I might want to get up here and kind of move around a bit. Doing okay? Mm-hmm. Going through different vectors. But while I'm here, I always like to go to the suboccipital area here and see how we're doing. Are you right up in there? Doing tight. Yeah. That suboccipital region is so important. If we consider the amount of neurological receptors in large muscles, we've got, oh, maybe two or three receptors per gram. Up here, we've got, oh, you know, three or four hundred receptors per gram of tissue here, so that's a huge influence over the entire system. A little tight there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. So again, these points when you're stimulating something, 30 seconds to three minutes, somewhere in that vicinity. Really powerful work.